Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth video of PyTorch 101 series and in this video I'm going to talk about uh, how to design your own dataset class for simple NLP problems. I say simple NLP problems because there are many different types of NLP problems like the simplest one is classification, you can have regression, you can have multi-label classification, multi-class classification, you have question and answering, summarization, um, other sequence to sequence problems, entity recognition. There are so many different types of problems. Uh, so this time we are going to focus on a few of them. So let's get started. The first thing, basic thing, design your uh, the framework custom data set. As I mentioned, you don't need to inherit from anywhere uh def uh, let me just import torch first and here i have init function that does something so let's say we are making a simple um data set class for classification problems so i have classification problems and classification problems or regression problems. So classification problems can be um, binary classification, it can be multi-class classification, it can be multi-label classification, simple one column regression, multi-column regression. So it covers these different five different types of problems. Uh, and then you define the len function. Let's say it returns length of self.data. We don't have self.data yet. And then you have the get item function. And that takes some index value and does something. Okay, so what do you need here for all these kind of problems like single column reg regression, multi column regression, or just call it regression problems for multi label classification problem, for multi class classification problem, for binary classification problem? All you need is a list of um, text. So let's call it data. So that's my list of text. And um, you need targets. And I will say self.data is data and self.targets is targets. So now my len should work. And here in the get item function, we do all the magic. So <laughs> it's very simple, it's not magic. So uh, you have text. So text will be self.data. And since it's a list of text, you can just index it like this and targets so you have target or target self dot targets now if it's a simple um simple kind of uh, classification problem let's say like binary classification problem so you have only zero and one if it's a number of classes you have to uh, provide a number of classes or it, it will just be an index so you don't have to provide anything so you can just do idx and if, if it's regression same thing will work so what you can do is uh, you can say if self.target.shape so now this is an mp array um, one greater than one can do something like this else that's it okay um, so this one will work in all different kinds of problems so one one more thing I think this this may fail uh, if your shape is something like this it will fail so 
it won't be three many samples comma something like this uh, this can fail so you probably need to add a check for that too but we are not doing it here so we got the text we got the targets and uh, for uh, binary or multi-class classification targets can be zero one for binary for multi-class it can be different values one zero two three four whatever the number of classes you have minus one for regression it's just float values uh, even for multi-column and multi um, single column regression and for multi-label classification this will be uh, something like this one zero zero one zero something something like that and this has to be float so it depends on your loss function what is the data type here uh, but in the end uh, so what you do now uh, you will return something and obviously you cannot return text here you have to return a tensor and you have to so in the previous video we saw we had a fixed number of features right so here also it has to be like that if it's not fixed you need to use data collator and we will come to that uh, in future videos so here you have you return text so let's say you return torch.tensor input ids and the type can be torch.long so you return this one and you return target and target is target and the type depends on the type of problem you have if you have classification problems um, um then it's dot long if you have regression problems then dot float uh, so i will leave it up to you to decide now what are input ids uh when we were we are dealing with uh text data we always convert the text into tokens and those tokens are your input ids so um you need to write a function or let's say here you input a tokenizer and you can do self dot tokenizer equal to tokenizer um, I will change this for simplicity purposes and also because it's not entirely correct uh, so this is my target and my text uh, so my input IDs will be tokenizer. It takes the text and converts it to input IDs. So if you use a tokenizer from transformers, you can have input IDs, attention mask, uh, token type IDs, these kind of things. You can write your own tokenizer if you're using models like LSTM or uh, any RN based model or so you can do whatever you want with text here. And the ultimate idea is to convert text to set of tokens which are numbers and this will probably look something like this maybe some start tokens and whatever there will be values uh, like this and it can it can be huge and one thing you need to remember that uh, these sequences can be of different lengths so what you have to do is you need to take care of padding so I have discussed about padding in my previous videos on uh, NLP, so you can take a look there what padding is and what tokens are, how to convert them into tokens, these kind of things you can take a look there. But the idea remains the same. So you have input IDs and if it returns uh, more more things like attention mask or um, token type IDs, you can just add it here. So just take this and make it attention mask if your tokenizer is returning attention mask so it can be like this very simple so let's say we don't have this right now so we have the input ids and we do add padding so each time i uh, query an item from my data set i get a list of tokens and uh, they are of the same size uh, and also the target 
So there's not much to do here. This is a simple uh, custom dataset class that will probably will work with most of the um, NLP problems that you have. Uh, now, if we talk about converting this to um, entity extraction problems, let's say, you don't have to do anything. So you have the entities and each entity is just a number. Uh, so it's just a multi-label classification problem. And all you have to do is this and you are done. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. So these are just different classes, right? Um, if you talk about seek to seek problems like summarization uh, or translation, so you have one text and you have another text. So you will be returning input IDs underscore one for text one, input IDs for text two, these kind of things. So um, that's it, as simple as that. Uh, you have built your own uh, custom dataset class for uh, text problems or NLP problems, simple NLP problems. Next, in the next video, we will take a look at how to build uh, a dataset class for simple computer vision problems like image classification, regression, segmentation, these kind of problems. And um, uh, we need to do a little bit more than uh, the text problems, let's say. But it's also going to be quite easy and simple. So let's see in the next video.